2K land, man. Check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, we had a good stream yesterday. 1.6 thousand views, 3,000 on the uh, podcast, 7.7 on the video from Friday, man. That's what we try to keep up, man. We try to keep this trend up 7.7. Listen, I know we can hit 8,000 a day, and the only way that we can do that is by you guys hitting that like button and getting us to 300 likes before we get to 1,500 views. That should be easy, y'all, man. That's gonna let us go into the moon, Alice. But hey, also, we just wanna take some time for y'all to show y'all the Notre Game Wall of Fame, man. We got first, hey, Dej uh, Dejan Hardnet was first. A hey, qua, a hey, first. He he up there. You up there. You went first, but you was there, man. And then also with that joint, man. Hey, serve, serve was first, man. He says, "What up, my guy?" Left a like at the interest. I appreciate y'all doing that stuff, man, because y'all don't understand how much that helps us out here on the show, man. So listen, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below, and if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all. Let's just get right into what we got to talk about. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all, man. This weekend shooting was a little, uh, it was fine until maybe about midday yesterday. Then it felt a little bit dicey. Then I went on this rabbit hole thing. And I understand why y'all shooting, uh, to y'all shooting might be feeling so bad or it might not feel like, feel like it should. I'm going to understand because you play the same place that I play in the house of the randoms and when you play in the house of randoms this is what happens you never get the ball you don't get in a good shooting position and so you don't know whether or not your shot is on you can't tell nothing from it i played like 30 or 40 games yesterday between 12 and and like 10 o'clock last night bro i might have took 10 shots no lot some of them were rent games some so it's not necessarily that your shot is off or what have you you just may not be getting the chance to see what your shot is. And then 2K be changing your shot and stuff. Me and Man Man were talking, they changed the visual cues. Uh, it seems like yesterday that, that uh, it seems like yesterday, and a couple of people said this too, that yesterday that uh, that uh, set point felt like felt like a uh, jump and you had to put it on push in order to get it to feel like set points. Y'all let me know if y'all felt the same thing, man. But look, I don't I don't know what's going on, but it's really hard with all the changes on on us super casuals to, to figure this thing out because you 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 gonna get the you gonna get in the game, but right there you see I'm wide open in the corner. You're never really gonna get any shots in this game. Now he hit that shot, but sometimes they don't hit that shot, and it just it just make you mad, man. Anyway, speaking of shooting, that boy Black Cobra, he just said this, man. This is something he giving out some advice. One thing I can say for certain is that I definitely feel the difference between having an A plus defensive immunity and having it on a lower grade. Uh, I green through a lot of high percentage contests consistently, and I don't think I'll ever go back to running anything uh, below an A+. plus. Now, I've been on that A and the A-, minus, but he's saying an A+, plus, man. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what, that, uh, what that does, man. And then, so we also have this right here, and he just says, man, he's showing y'all some of the stuff about how, um, how he's taking the shots and how, hey, he's like, it's a, it's a, he's right there. And uh, he just says, hey, listen, man, great individual defense. If I score through these type of contests, you got to just live with it and shake my hand. But if you're going to rotate and help out, you have to get a hand up. Ghost contests aren't much of a thing um, as, as it might seem, man. And so, you know, he's just showing, you know, the dude had 94 perimeter defense and some stuff like that. And he's still able to, you know, you got help, but it really doesn't matter. With, with what he's got going on. And then he also was gracious enough to hit us up with a uh, with a shot that might help us out, man. So look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the shot or what have you. Like, oh yeah, he, he had another one right here, that hand down, man down. Boom, he just shooting through that, man. But listen, he's got a shot for us right here. And he just said, this is a nice one right here. It looks good. And now see, I've been on this Malcolm Brogdon base. I haven't used it, but Look at the stats that he's able to get with it. You know, he got an A plus height, A plus whatever. I'm going to change that. I'm not going to get the A plus height. And look at his speed is a B, so you get much more time and stability uh, with that. That B speed and stuff, y'all can't be catfished with that because it'll say B and it'll still be faster than something else uh, that, you are, that, that you've been using. So, And then uh, that's the release speed, you know, with the Kobe Bryant and the Oscar Robertson and all that. I might put together a rendition of this, man, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to see how that goes. Up next, hey, man, we got that boy tj he just says bro y'all gotta chill with the rerun stuff every uh everybody i follow doing it uh doing it dang near about to unfollow mfs it makes me not want to resub uh to you peoples man and i'll be honest with y'all man i take i take partial um responsibility for this because i invented the uh the rerun back in the twitch uh, back in it wasn't even twitch tv back then it was uh what was it called uh 
just in TV days, I used to play Modern Warfare 2. A lot of people used to want to see me play. It wasn't no money involved back then though. People just genuinely wanted the game and see people game. And so uh, a lot of people would, would ask me, hey man, can you just do this, do a rerun or whatever? And you wanted to keep your stream active as long as you possibly could so that when you did go live, you know people were already in there because back then it may take you hours to pull five viewers. And so with that being the case, we fast, uh, we, that's, that's what we used to do. We used to do run the replay, but I would be at work and be in the chat, talking to everybody, being engaged or what have you as much as I possibly could, not just running it or what have you, and it was by request. But then, you know, I just stopped because I felt like as time went on, it was less and less necessary. Fast forward to the 2K days, and it's like, I feel I feel the same way. Like, I don't care, and, but I also signified that it was a rerun. I don't care if you're running a rerun and you're telling people that it's a rerun. The big issue comes in when you're running a rerun and you're trying to fool people into thinking that you're alive. That's what I have an issue with. Um, and, and it just feels like it's killing, it's not only killing the the, the vibe or some of the channels, it feel like it's, it's killing the 2K community as well because a lot of people come over and then they go through the first five stream, first five stream reruns, and they, they just get turned off, they're gonna go watch Apex, at least that's what happens with me. Double H says, what's the reason for, for a streamer for a streamer to uh to do reruns anyway is it just for the money? He says, I think that's what it is. Uh, I think that's what they do it for. Uh, only, only they can answer that question. Toxic said, I'm not a fan of it, but I can't lie, I have been doing them for tournaments and stuff like that. He said, your reruns actually make sense though. Cause yeah, people miss the, uh, people uh, miss it. And then they say, I don't do reruns. I think, uh, you know, hey, like I said, a lot of people do it. A lot of people don't. Um, I mean, Iggy Mo was like, uh, you know, why it shouldn't bother other people, but it does bother other people because we're in the same community. And when you're doing, when you do do something like that and you're, people are not gonna say anything until it impacts what they're doing. So. If what you're doing impacts me over here or how people go look at me, then yeah, they're gonna say something. Me, I really don't care, man. Do what you wanna do. I ain't gonna watch it anyway. I barely watch 2K streams anyway, and I'm definitely not watching if it's not live. So that's just how that goes, man. Up next, we got that boy CS67. He says, says, yeah, yeah, that stuff been, uh, it's been getting out of hand. I did it last year for a bit, a uh, bit, but I was watching the reruns with people, uh, with people in the stream even that was wild. So that's what he's saying. He watching the reruns with people in the stream and they were talking and stuff like that. It's really, man, like, listen, man, we all we all know what it is. You get, it's like a lot, some people got the contracts and because they got those contracts, they have to fulfill a certain number of hours uh, as, as far as streaming. And it's an easy way to fulfill those, I feel, fulfill said hours. It is what it is. I, I do what you wanna do, but I, I think to some degree, unless you're letting people know that you are running a rerun, that you can uh, you can kill your own channel or you can kill a lot of stuff, but it doesn't matter. It's a 2K community. We gonna find the easiest way to do anything and, uh, and, and, and do things by the fringes or what have you. And because of that, speaking of that, this is what we got right here, the PH to resistance for the day, man. Xbox will stop unauthorized accessories from connecting to the Xbox console starting in November and will put a display message on the screen uh, to users using these uh, these joints. It just says this will prevent users uh, using the Cronus exploit, whatever, whatever. And it just says, it just says a connected accessory is not authorized, blah, 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 blah. Y'all see it right here. Bass Plus says, um, not even happy because the dweebs will find a way. And uh, he's absolutely right. And then Splash was like, uh, I'm asking, I'm asking the geeks, will this actually stop people from cheating? And it's like, nah, bro. Because like, let's be honest with y'all. Y'all love to tell me, oh yeah, speaking of which, Look at how many Zens have been sold, man. 3,000 Zens were sold the past month because people cheating in 2K. Bruh, bruh. Like, look at this, man. Now, let me, let me, I'm gonna bring it home for y'all real quick. I know that we think that it's gonna stop people. Number one, the biggest thing is that uh, people not using the Zen, they're using the Titan. And uh, we're gonna talk about that in one second. And he says, Zen users might be done on the Xbox side, wasted money, uh, and all you had to do was time a jump shot. Now, like they said, they're gonna do this. They already done something similar on PlayStation, but we know people are doing this on PlayStation and Xbox. It's not gonna do anything at all. And let me tell you why. Because you already, to use the, they're not using the Zen anyway, they're using the Titan. And to use the Titan, you gotta run that through your, uh, you gotta run that through your computer anyway, so it can talk to your graphics card and all of that. So they're already circumventing that so that, that doesn't even matter that doesn't matter to anybody like that they're, they're they're not even using the zen it's not connected to the console it's none of that they got the thing connected through that and then you share play or airplay or whatever you do 
and uh that, that's always been the way around it's just the same way like when you connect the joint to your computer and uh people would show their input data they connect it to their computer and then they, they they're going through the um through the stream play or whatever when you go through stream play you can have the controller connected to anything on the other end and it doesn't matter they're gonna circumvent it anyway uh like i said playstation started out with this thing where you couldn't connect any third party uh device to it that wasn't registered uh and and uh they found a way around that within months so they always they, they always find a way man it's not gonna stop anything and they probably really laughing at the people right now saying bro come on man we are we we haven't been connecting directly to the joint for years so it doesn't matter so like um, it, it just is what it is and then it also fools the fools the device into thinking that it is uh that it is what it is it, it fools the device into thinking that it is an authentic controller and then like they said like they said when dynasty it was like well you got to use the off-brand controller to, to to use the license to get it bro they got so many ways to make this thing work man like they, they, if they these people are not gonna just stop doing this they're gonna find a way anyway let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like i said if these people are already spending thousands to cheat then they uh, you think they're gonna give that up easily and the people that have that that have money that stands to be made do you think that they didn't take this contingency into account they already got that man they laughing at us man it's like it's like uh what he said on state property we laughing at you we all laughing at you man you know what i'm saying nobody knows the number in my number anyway so that's how they looking at it man but it is what it is it ain't gonna stop man they're they not even going through the, they're not they haven't connected directly to the console in probably two years so it, it is what it is y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man um hey i mean and and the bad part about it is people keep going zen but like we said it's not a zen it's it's the technology is so far far past that that it's not even funny but a lot of people are using zen scripts but that, that's not the main thing that they should be worried about let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh.